everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Demetra in today's video we're gonna be testing out a new foundation this is the new one from Laura Mercier it's called the flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation I did receive this as a sample from Sephora it came in this small little tube which I think is adorable I have just popped on to Sephora's website right now just to quickly read some of the claims so the description here says that it is good for all sorts of skin types it is a matte finish um, gives you oh it's oil free it's transfer resistant that I really want to put to the test um, gives you a matte finish medium to full coverage um, it says that this is very comfortable to wear it's transfer sweat humidity and water resistant well let me tell you something I'm going to the gym this evening and I'm gonna be working out with my trainer and I know I'm gonna be busting the sweat so I am definitely gonna give this a run for its money. There are 20 shades in this range which is quite large for a new foundation launch. Since this was a sample I wasn't able to pick from the vast array of shades. I got the lightest one that would sort of work with my skin and this is in the shade vanilla. So without any further ado let's get started. I have already primed my skin. It is moisturized and ready to go. I did use the infamous Hylamide matte 12 primer this has been my go-to ever since I purchased it I don't go a day without putting that on my face and I feel like that might actually help extend the wear of this foundation and help me stay a little more matte throughout the day I'm gonna go in with my dampen beauty blender which is typical for me and I'm gonna apply that to half of my face first so I'm just squeezing some out right now and it does look really thick if you can see that foundation it is not budging beauty blender in I'm taking a little bit and I'm gonna start applying it on my cheek whoa that's got pigment the website does say that if you want a fuller coverage look that you should apply with a brush but normally I apply all of my foundations with my beauty blender I know it soaks in some of the products but I just love the way that it blends out so this is how I'm gonna be applying it that did blend out really really nicely actually the more I look at it the more I do see that this is a very light color but yeah so far it's done a pretty decent job covering up all the redness you can sort of see this side by side I keep looking at my viewfinder over there there is still quite a bit of redness that's peeking through around this area here but again that is normal with my skin I don't think any foundation with one pass will cover all of that up completely um, everything seems to be good so far and for anyone wondering the foundation doesn't smell like anything I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I'll be right back the foundation is now on both sides of my face and it has provided pretty decent coverage I still have lots left over on the back of my hand so I am gonna go back in and see how well it builds up but I wanted to make sure that I do that on camera but just before I go ahead and do that I am gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit um, so you guys can actually see a little more close up how this is looking on my skin and after blending everything in I did notice that it has a really weird way of just sitting on top of my skin and this is actually clung to some of my dry patches. I can't really describe it in the best of words but it feels like it's just sitting on top of my skin and any dryness that I might actually have it seems to be accentuating it from far away it doesn't look so bad but when you're looking at things up close and personal you can really see where it just sits and I I hope it's translating on camera um, if it's not I'm gonna see if I can do some even uh, closer closer ups <laughs> a little bit later on taking my beauty blender again just grabbing a little bit of product and now I'm just grab my little portable mirror instead I'm gonna go in right in the areas that are normally a bit of a problem area for me so right along my cheeks let's see how this is gonna build it's actually building quite nice I like how it's building up it's doing it seamlessly it's not moving the foundation underneath around a lot 
The foundation has built up really nicely. It's covered up almost all of the redness now. It's even covered up some of the blemishes that I had around my chin area here. So in terms of coverage, this is a really good product. There's a lot of pigment in there, but for me, I still see it. It's not sitting great on my skin. It just feels like it's sitting on top and not really melting in, but hopefully that changes throughout the day. All right then, I am back. The rest of my face is now on. I tried to bronze as much as possible to bring some life back into this face, but I don't think there was any shot of even doing that. But anyhow, you're probably a little more interested in my thoughts on this foundation. So it did play relatively well with some of my other products, especially my bronzer and my blush. However, it did not seem to like my powder. Um, I went in and I tried to do a little bit of baking with my RCMA translucent powder and I ended up getting all of these splotchy red bits all over my face as if it had just pulled off the foundation. It looked horrible. I had to go back in there and really touch things up. It just did not look good at all. And then I just figured, forget the translucent powder. That doesn't seem to be working. So I just went in with my MAC Studio Fix Press Powder. I figure if I can just pat things down just a little bit to set the liquid, it'll be fine. And even that I had trouble with. And I really am not liking the way this is sitting on my face right now. It is clinging on to so many dry spots, especially around my nose area here. It looks so disgusting. Um, I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but especially around my nose here, you guys can probably see how it has just sunk into all of my dry patches. It is accentuating the dry skin. It's accentuating the texture that's on my face. I really don't like the way it's sitting. You can see it here again, even underneath my nose, around my nostrils. I wasn't able to get it to set properly. It just kept shifting a lot. It started to even really build up kind of gross like just above my upper lip. So I had to take that off and put it back on and just put a little bit of powder again so I can just get it to sit right because I really do want to give this foundation a good go. Um, it's sitting quite well on my forehead I guess because my forehead doesn't have much texture. It's pretty smooth and it doesn't have a lot of dry skin either but the rest of my face is really suffering. I honestly don't like the way this is sitting, but here you go. This is kind of what it looks like. You know what this one reminds me of? The Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, and I hated that one. Um, I have a feeling this is where this foundation is going, but we won't judge until the end of the day once we give it a full wear test. Um, anyways, speaking of, I am gonna go about my day. I don't have too much to do, but I will be taking you along for the ride and doing check-ins wherever I can. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. Look who I have here. I have my mama. Say hi, Mama. Hi. <laughs> so Mama is actually going to take a look at my face right now, and she's going to let me know what she thinks. It hasn't been that long since I've had this on, maybe about an hour. So Mama, what do you think of my face? It's very nice. You like it? I love it because it's so smooth. It looks smooth. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Inclusionally pori. Okay, my mom says that all of the pores have closed up. She likes yeah. how smooth it all looks. Yeah. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, there you have it. Mama says it looks good, so it must look good. But here we are. This is, I think, the second check-in now of the day. I'm going to be heading to the gym shortly, but I wanted to do a check-in before I went um, because... I'm really not liking this foundation. So I'm gonna take off my glasses and for all of you who have watched my foundation reviews in the past, you know that I keep my glasses on because I always wanna see what's gonna happen around my nose. And this time around, it ain't pretty. So let's zoom you guys in and let's take a look at this ratchetness. So you can see around my nose how awful it looks, how much it's moved around. And look at how it just sits around my nose. It is just so gross. And even around the rest of my face, it just, it 
looks awful. It just sits on top of my skin. It clings to everything. Even on my forehead, somehow up at the very top, it seems to be missing all of the foundation that was there. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. This, this isn't working. Oh, and by the way, transfer resistant my ass because that foundation just came right off. Um, I really am not liking this foundation right now. It's definitely not working with my skin type. Um, maybe it'll work for somebody else, but honestly for me, I'm gonna try to use this beauty blender to salvage whatever I can, especially around my nose if there's any way to blend that in. Pull you guys in a little closer. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's really no coming back from this, so I, I don't know what to do, except I really want to take this off my face, but I still want to put it through the sweat test at the gym. This is going to be absolutely hideous, and I think my trainer is just going to make fun of me. Yeah, a lot. I just got out of the gym. Mother effort today was one hell of a workout. Um, I am sweating my damn balls off if I ever had balls. Um, so, okay, <laughs> let's talk about this foundation. I cannot believe it's still on. I mean, it's looking a little bit better. Let's see if this will focus. There we go. So the foundation is looking a little bit better. Um, let's see around my nose in particular. So here's what I had to do. I actually had to take off the foundation before I left for the gym and reapply. So it's not a long wear foundation on my nose because it was looking so crusty and crumbly and I really want this foundation to work. I don't want to hate it as much as I do. So it's looking a lot better right now on my nose. And the trick was to just apply the teeniest amount. I think I did apply too much on my nose, which is why it wasn't looking so good. But the rest of my face, despite it clinging to dry patches, is still holding on. So in terms of the sweat proof and waterproof, this thing, actually is sweat proof and waterproof. I gotta give it that. For me on a scale of one to 10, this is probably between the four and the five range. My Dior is still a 10 out of 10 in my books and I still haven't found a foundation that is as good as that. So I guess I benchmark everything against that. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. I really dislike this foundation. I don't like uh, how it is sitting on my face still. It's accentuated all of the dry patches on my skin. Nothing new that I haven't already told you. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You can see how it's worn down on my cheeks. It's all streaky and patchy. It does not look good. Um, same goes for the other side. You can also see like a skid mark from my bronzer. It's not looking good either, but yeah, it's not sitting well at all. Even on my forehead, I see it settling into pores and fine lines. It's just not working for me. Maybe for somebody else, this foundation will become a holy grail item, but for me, with textured skin, with oily skin, and with acne, it just did not work. This is a hard pass for me. I wouldn't spend my money on it, but that's not to say you shouldn't give it a try because you may have a completely different experience from me. But anyways, that is where I'm going to end this video. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and also connect with me on all of my social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'll link everything for you in the description box below. I hope you are all having an amazing day no matter where you are in the world. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.